Okay, we're going to talk about multiplying fractions using the wick, the array, or the square model. Alright, the first thing that you want to do is you want to represent three-fifths and one-third using a pictorial method. Okay, if you notice that I made my bars vertical and horizontal. So now over here I'm going to shade in one-third, and I'm using lighter colors for this because we're going to talk about how multiplication is covering of space, area. It's the measure of square units. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take, I'm making it bigger so it's more visible on the camera. Okay, try to make them as proportional size pieces as you can. Alright, so we're talking about That represents three-fifths. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our two models and we're going to overlap them. So this one I'm going to cut it into thirds. Okay, and I'm going to shade one out of three. And you can see that I just overlapped the orange with the yellow. Okay, that's the solution. Excuse me, I made a mistake. That's one third. I wrote that incorrectly. Obviously, the picture shows that. Okay, these squares represent our answer. Okay, that's three. But now let's discuss what represents the unit. Well, that would be this whole. Okay, if we count up, this would be five out of five, which represents a whole. And all the way over here is three out of three, which represents the whole unit. Even though we didn't use the whole unit when we overlap them, it doesn't matter because we're talking about three pieces out of the whole unit. Well, then you count and you see that that's really 15 pieces. So we're talking about three out of 15 for our total answer of 3 fifteenths.